Yo, what's going on, everybody? The Cool Geek here, and I'm watching another video. And today I'm going to be debating Full Power Sasuke versus Full Power Aizen. Sorry, this isn't my Kid Lee video, but that was taking a while. And this is something for you in the meantime. Let's get into it. The thing is, like, um, like, like he, he kind of thinks that, like, debates are, like, um, if you don't know the character you're debating against, it's, like, bait and stuff. But, like, the characters we're saying against him aren't, like, some, or, like, Unameko or, like, outer versal overpowered, like, Elder Scroll type stuff. Either, either way, I'm cool geek, um... The, well, his logic doesn't really make much sense because um, you, you can still argue against someone's uh, premise even if you don't have knowledge of the character. You can ask about the context, ask about the defeat itself. Yeah, exactly. Any of you who doesn't think Naruto wins. Um, it wasn't Naruto with Sasuke, but... I mean... Yeah, I know, I've been <laughs> repping Naruto a bit lately against random people on random forums and stuff. Yeah, you even decided to think of Sailor Moon versus that. <laughs> I, 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 need, I need some Garo stuff. <laughs> Wait, cool geek, why do you think of fairy tale? Wait, what happened? Fairy tale. Fairy tale? Yeah, because I know it gets a lot of hate, but I actually like this series, though. Yeah, I definitely like the show. I haven't seen that much of it. Uh, I started watching it, but then I I forgot what I was doing, but I like something came up where I couldn't um watch that. Uh, what do you call it? I couldn't. Well, um, like, do you know the scaling? There's the scaling uh, many people are like on and off about. Yeah, um, a cool geek apparently you said like, do you debate bleach? I have no buddies, my guy. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, um, cool geek, what do you think of fairy tale scale? Um, I don't know. I have I don't know too much. I heard uh, I think it was um, Murky back in the day argued for Universal Plus Natsu or something like that. But yeah, it yeah, it was Universal like, Plus, and it was wacky cyber. It cyber thing went on and off, and like he said, it was he actually it's, he revealed that it's weird because um. It should, because the, the the original Japanese one where it showed the Japanese language and all that stuff, it showed them um, world what and people speak said planet. However, he said there's a you can just call it an argument and say that it, um he can be universal plus in terms of hacks the AP level. Yeah. Um. However, and he said that Natsu doesn't scale to this. Um, even though, like, Natsu actually burned their magic and itself, it wasn't just, like, fighting, it wasn't only just fighting, um, um, their, he actually burned their magic entirely. However, like, yeah, this, the universal stuff is debatable, which is... Ooh, which is the crazy part. However, like, Cyber was, like, shocked when I bring up um, Agnologia stuff that I found, like, a uh, scan of Agnologia, something about transcending time. Okay. So, yeah, it's weird for Universal Plus Fairy Tale, so it's debatable. However, like, uh, um, if you want to push that out to the table, there's like some 
country, multi-continental, and some planetary statements. So, Kobe, what do you think of that? Um, it's interesting. I think I'm siding with Cyber on this, that it's probably more so universal hacks, more so than AP or anything like that. Yeah, I just, um, not, not, I'm not saying siding, I'm just, and I'm just saying cyber because cyber debunked there. Hello, what's going on? Yeah, what's up? Hey. Oh, God. Am I going to listen to some weird shit from this guy? Oh, I know, also like, cool geek, I didn't mean, like, huge size, I meant, like, uh, uh the what cyber said and stuff. Oh my goodness. What does why is did I miss something? Oh um uh, me and me and Luke were like um talking to this guy named Patchy and then Patchy was all like you know, we were getting on his nerves for some reason and then he wants to debate. Then when Kugi when then when Luke Dumb, like serves him with some Naruto hacks with pain against like Lucy and then says the soul hack and all that stuff, and then this guy like is trying to think that you know Luffy's precog will save him because he can see into the future, and then um, that won't save you. <laughs> um, uh, even though I'm not like a, a fully researched Naruto fan, um, I do know that um, Pain should have more layers of precog than Luffy. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, if it's, oh, this one is water. Enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy. Like, I'll stay here for a little while to have this turns out. Like, a bunch of people. Gosh. And debaters here, eh? Wait, cool geek. Um, by the way. Yo. Ever thought of using some fairy tale characters in the debate? Yeah, I did actually. When I started watching Fairy Tale. Was and that was after um I saw Murky use him in a debate and I was like oh snap, um Nott is actually really cool maybe I should scale him yeah but I didn't like yeah I would, yeah like for me um like if you want to push the universal stuff out the window and stuff at least he got like multi continental or maybe planetary yeah. So, um, so yeah, and also for his resistances, he's able to, uh, to, like, resist soul hacks, existence, I think, um, existence erasure, death hacks, um, he's also able to, like, um, the, the able to, like, uh, he has time immunity, as, um, he was in that place Agdalogia was, the divines of time. And he wasn't affected by the thing. Oh man, what, the one I'm really hoping if, if I can if he believes me, Dark Spine Sonic pull off the nibs. Yeah, Kugi, yeah, Kugi on the um Corin found the the plot manipulation for Dark Spine. Oh, yeah, like it's like, like the like like the stories, or like the plot itself. Oh, he's here, guys. I mean, okay, so. Oh, uh, he. Why? Okay, okay Patchy. Um. Uh. So, why do you think that um, like, that Aizen like stands a chance against Sasuke? What was the scaling? I forgot. Uh, okay. Watch out, guys! It's a trap. <laughs> oh, and also, like, cool geek. Um, after this debate, maybe I can like help you with the fairy tale three. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. By the way, I'm not gonna like wank or anything weird in this debate either. I'm just gonna go with the actual scaling. And if I hear any wank or downplay, I'll debunk it. <laughs> oh, okay, enjoy. <laughs> um, so, Lukedom, are you okay? Lukedom? Oh, Hunter, he said that he cannot hear us all because Wi-Fi. Okay. Yeah, but, he's, I, I don't know what's up with his Wi-Fi. 
Okay, okay. Pachi's typing. I think because I don't know if he's shy or nervous about BC or he's more used. Here, let me um, let me grab a different mic. Hold up. Oh wait. Wait, is he gonna do that thing of text to talk? Yeah, he's. We're doing yeah, VC to text. Yeah. Yeah, VC to. Let me plug in this microphone real quick. Give me a sec. I mean, I'm using the phone, and I can still use it. Okay, can you hear me? Um, yeah. Alright. Uh, Patchy, is this better? Alright, good. Um, yeah, it's, uh, Sasuke versus Aizen, yeah. Um... I don't know where the but but yeah, if you want to go over Aizen being a uh, multiversal first, we can do that, I guess. Because I definitely don't agree with the notion that Aizen is multiversal at all. I don't know how that where that. I don't know where that came from. That's. I mean, I know an argument for it, uh, but I don't agree. Uh, like, I heavily disagree. It's consistent. Yeah, it's definitely That's not consistent. Way. Oh, wait, what? No, hold on. Well, oh multiversal God. is anywhere between two and a thousand that's, that's universes, right. if I remember correctly. Yeah, who and multiverse is, is like 1001 one Wait a minute, universe. hold on. Cool geek, who told this man two universes equals multiversal? <laughs> the beta, I'm going to tell you this. In the morning, we keep telling them, and this, and this god here is like confusing himself um i think i saw so, uh, like part of it but can you restate uh, the whole thing like all at the same time if anything two multiverses is like better into okay. universe plus or something the thing, like that. The thing is pachi is that like um two universes wouldn't exactly mean no multiversal like um like like uh, just two universes and in infinite in size would just be like universal plus at least Okay, let me. I've seen the first two scans. Let me look at the third one, cause um, like I did watch like the Bleach anime and I read part of the manga, but I haven't got to this other part here. I don't know what this is, so I'm gonna read it real quick. Give me a second. It also stretches the collection of like a universe is like what's the not making multiverse? It is like two multiverses, two universes. Is a full avoid of any contact with the outside world. It also stretches on for infinity. Thus, so we decide it was the only place where we could freely, without in, in it, inhabit. Like a universe collapsing? Like... Sure, okay, okay, so... That would um, be universal. It wouldn't be like multiversal. Yeah, alright, so, uh, alright, so, um... Basically, I, got, I think I got the argument. So you're saying because um, the Bleach universe um, was going to collapse or whatever. I, this looks like the scan from, like, the Quincy's that they were going to, like, uh, upset the balance and then, like, the universe would be destroyed. And then um, the second one, let me see. Looks like it's the same thing, yeah, the, with the Quincy's. Yeah, and then the third one, it looks like something from the war. I've never read the war arc, so, um, yeah, okay. Um, so, I don't know about the context of the third one. Can you, like, explain, like, what they're talking about? Like, what is infinite? Like, can you explain that for me? I think he means the void. He's, like, she's, like, punching someone in the background. Can you, can you, can anyone hear me or anything? Like... Oh, yeah, you're okay, saying uh, who was punching someone in the background? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, that's like some, I think, fireworks in my back. Uh, okay. It looked like the scene, it sounded like a scene from The Shining where he's, like, hitting down the, like, door with the axe or something like that. <laughs> okay. Think, and since it's just in infinite and expanding, that's still just universal plus. It's not even most universal. <laughs> Right, okay, so, um, actually, alright, so a few things, right? So now that I know the context to all of this, I'll go after all of this one by one. So, um, the Quincy's collapsing the universe, um, that was because they were gonna upset, now correct me if I'm wrong, right, but I think I still have the scans, but, um, so it's from the Quincy's upsetting the spiritual balance, because there's supposed to be, like, an equal number of souls, uh, in the world of the living and the soul society, 
So that's not them like blowing up the universe or anything like that. So that wouldn't be an AP feat at all, right? They're just killing a bunch of like random fodder hollows until there's, you know, and, and if I remember correctly, the way they explained it is like they erased them from existence or something um, instead of sending them to the Soul Society. And that's just them like erasing hollows. It's not necessarily them blowing up the universe. Uh, so yeah, that yeah, takes care of the first two scans. If you have a response, I'll wait. Yeah, think of it like Flashpoint and stuff. How like Flash created like New Fifty Two, like he didn't really create it. It's more or less like a like like a like a reaction and stuff, a chain reaction. So it's like um, kind of like it. Yeah, even though Flash is way stronger than that. <laughs> what? Huh? Who said that? Like, I think pretty sure the Flash kind of altered it. You know what I mean? Like, kind of like just. Altering the past. Eh? Yeah, like the normal, mo like the how the universe normally was, like the normal timeline, is like a straight straw, and then you just like bend the straw and everything, and that's how everything like got like destroyed. It's kind of like an analogy that I like, probably yeah. yeah, DC is weird, dude. Though, like at the same time, like that that analogy works, but like. It's really weird, because there's already, like, an infinite number of timelines, so I don't know, like... Yeah, but I was, like, yeah. I was referring yeah, to, like, what's no, specifically the, thing the Flash is, like, Oh, yeah. yeah no, no, it was, like, to say that, that you, because, like, this example, this was basically, like, a chain reaction, and, like, the Flash created a chain reaction with Flashpoint in the six. Yeah. Alright, let me see. An imperfect amount of souls can destroy the universe, but you watch. Didn't do this, uh power okay so um you're not so okay so you're not arguing that the uh the quincy's are level so you're arguing it for your watch okay so erase your existence along wait, with the wait. soul society wait is he saying like all those souls can destroy the universe without so making multiverse movies? no he's saying yeah. that like your watch was gonna like destroy everything apparently um now i am familiar with this skin right here um, now... Like, what does he mean by everything? Yeah, okay, yeah, exactly. That's that's my issue with this scan. Whenever I see this scan specifically, we don't see, like, energy being absorbed from the entire, like, universe. We only really see energy coming from, like, the ground, right? So that would more so be, like, planetary, if anything. Which is fine. I actually think they're stronger. I, I think they're multi-galaxy. I don't think that they're planetary, but just based off of this, it would be, like, planetary at best. I mean, even if we say, like, the infinite, like, the worlds are, like, infinite and stuff, still would just be universal plus, not even multiversal or low multi. Yeah, if you think the un also, here's an issue with your watch destroying the Soul Society or any of the realms, really. Uh, for it to be universal plus, I'm not sure if you're familiar with what that term actually means, because I know a lot of versus debaters think they know, but they really don't. The thing about universal plus is it's essentially a, a holding, a placeholder word for being like baseline 4D. It's not just being able to destroy the universe, but also the space time within said universe. Or yeah, if, it's like it's, it's basically got to destroy like the space time, not just the universe. It's yes, like, it's, it's not like, just the matter; yeah, it's, it's also the, like, the very space time, right? Like an example, I think a good example of this is what Thanos is going to do in the movies. Like in the first movie, he was going to he just wiped everything in the universe. The second thing was going to wipe out the act universe, which included the time space, like the act universe. It's kind of like that. Another, or like another like example, like there's characters like um. There's like um characters in like JoJo who can like have like hacks that can reach around Universal Plus by like they can recreate or make entire timelines and can like alter fabric of like infinite in infinite time space continuums etc. My uh, my example would be like um Shira from like the reboot um she's a her her authority people like um. They're cutting through. I, I but the walk was going to snap. I forgot to mute OBS. Whoops. But not only was it destroying the time and space, but um, the universe itself. 
Yeah, no, it's it's fine. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'll probably edit out that uh, cause um, like I I started recording uh, a while back, but uh, I'm gonna edit that out from the recording cause someone was talking to me IRL, so I gotta edit that anyway. But all right, so back to this, right? Um, it says he's gonna rebuild everything, right? Uh. Everything is pretty vague, right? What does everything mean, right? If these characters are third dimensional, right? Th and there's no reason to assume that they had a dimensional jump. Um, everything would just be every third dimensional thing. It doesn't necessarily have to be fourth dimensional, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Especially with the visuals we see, like, we don't... Okay, yeah, I got it. So, um, basically, when when we see a watch, like, say this, right? When he says, like, he can um, transform everything. If the characters up until this point have all been third-dimensional, there's no reason to believe he made a dimensional jump and can reshape everything even on a 4D scale. Uh, it would make more sense, logically speaking, for him to be able to recreate everything on a third-dimensional scale, which would just be, like, all the matter in the universe. It, it would sort of be a little bit weird to, like, assume he means, like, a fourth-dimensional construct, that being, like, the entire space-time of the universe. Or if you're yeah, arguing for a low multi, it would not only be, like, the space-time of one universe, it'd be, like, multiple, which is even, like, even more extreme. Especially if yeah, you think you... that, like, um, that, like, universal plus times two isn't low multiversal. I'm not saying that that's right or wrong, I'm just saying if you believe that as well, then that's even more of an out-there claim, if that makes sense. Like, an example would be, like, um, for instance, um, if, like, like, I know, I don't want to get into my scaling too much yet, but let's say, like, um, for instance, Cog, like, uh, for instance, Momoshiki, right, when he created his universe, uh, if he only created the matter in said universe, that would only be, like, finite universal. That's why I always, always make sure to preface by saying that dimensions in Naruto aren't just, like, the third dimensional matter. It also includes space-time, right? It's sort of like that with Bleach. Like, they say that they're going to do stuff with the universe, but they never specifically specify the space-time, like in other verses. Unless they have, and I just didn't know about it. Like, if you have them, you know like, specifically stating the space-time, then I can accept that. Or any fourth-dimensional construct in general, because I believe it was in a, um, in a, uh, what was it, a light novel that actually translated, um, to, like, Momoshiki's, one of his dimensions being, like, a hyperspace. And if you don't know, a hyperspace definitionally is a higher-dimensional, uh, space, which would inherently be 4D. Yeah, basically, it's like, it's like transcending a third dimension. Wait, this is supposed to be Private Phoenix, remember? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to give Patchy what he wants, because uh, I'm, I'm grateful that he joined VC in the first place. Yeah, I don't think I said this, but uh, thanks for joining VC, Patchy. Okay, let me read that real quick. Aw, oh, dang, my battery's running low. Hold on, I'm on my laptop. Let me plug in real quick. Hold on. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> let me read the scan now. Um, let me see.
Okay, um, I know about this. This is your watch's almighty ability, right? There's supposed to be an infinite number of, um, possibilities. And, yeah, so, this isn't, um, this is not an AP feat. This is purely hacks. Um, it's, it's, it's essentially precog, right? Um, it's like the equivalent of Flash, what he has. Now, I'm not saying Flash isn't that strong, but I'm saying, like, this is not a good explanation for him being that strong, right? So, Flash has a type of precog where he can see every possible possibility, which in DC, there's, like, layered infinite possibilities, right? Um, well above baseline infinite, and, um, like, but that's just what he can see, right? Or even if he can manipulate, like, one or two futures, that wouldn't necessarily be the same as destroying them, right? Or even if you could manipulate them, right? That would just be fate manipulation or future manipulation. That's like saying that, um, like, Naruto was supposed to, like, um, say, like, change the future against Neji, because Neji said it's his fate to lose to him. So, Naruto beating Neji was Naruto defying fate. That would be like saying that kid Naruto, like, scales to, like, Universal Plus, which is very, very wrong. If that makes sense. So I gave two, I think, pretty decent analogies for why that doesn't work. One using Flash and one using Kid Naruto. Because, you know, interacting. Yeah, I'm not saying Neji does. Um, actually, I do think Naruto has fate powers. I'm just saying Neji said that it was Naruto's fate to lose to him, and that was predetermined since their birth. I'm actually more so saying, like, Naruto would have fate powers in this instance. Which is backed up, because there are some scans for it, but... We're, we're not really getting into that too much now. I'm just saying that it's absurd to say because you can change the future that that makes you fourth dimensional, if that makes sense. Okay, that might have came off a little bit strong. I'm not saying like it's like like bad to think that. I'm just saying like because I do science, right? So um. Uh, it's, it's, like, bad for me. <laughs> like, it's absurd once you actually, like, do the research on, like, the fourth dimension. Which I actually made a video on, by the way. Shameless plug. Is everyone still here? Yeah. We're j uh, we were just, uh, because, you know, this is supposed to be a 1v1 between me and Patchy, and uh, everyone was just being nice and respectful. Let me see. Uh, Alright. Oh, okay, because I w everyone was quiet. I was yeah. Okay, let me see. Let me read this. Right, okay. Um, Okay, uh, is it alright if I link it in this chat, or do I- should I send it to you in DMs? Cause I don't- let me see, it's been- cause I, like, left the server for a while, cause I'm in the max number of servers, so I had to, like, rejoin. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, sure, let me go get the video real quick. Shouldn't take that long. Here. Uh, do you want me to give you, like, a link to, like, my channel as a whole, or, like, the specific video that I made? Okay, cool beans. Let's see. Yeah, this is one of my more proud videos. I got to talk about science on my channel, which is really, um, I like doing that, because, um, I don't get to do that very often. At least not, like, directly. But yeah, thanks, um, for dropping a sub. Let me see. Alright, there you go, I dropped a, um, 
I dropped the link. Yeah, okay. So, it was, okay, so, uh, he was gonna destroy the, the three universes, and, um, you're saying one of them, uh, is infinite, right? Or was it all of them? Can you, uh, clarify that for me? Okay. Uh, Patchy, do you mind if I upload this? Because I, I have been recording um, this. Do you mind if I upload it, or would you rather I not? Okay. Okay, so you think, um... Alright, so you think the uh, Soul Society is comparable to the Living Universe, and you think Mugen is infinite, so you think the Living Universe and the Soul Society are not comparable in size then? So it would be finite universal. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me re-look at the scans one more time, real quick. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, so in one of the scans here, it says, um, everything will reform and become one. It doesn't necessarily say that, um, what do you call it, that he's gonna, like, physically destroy it. Wouldn't he just be merging it with his hacks? Or do you think that, like, his hacks scale to his AP? Which is a thing, because, like, for instance, like, um, I do think that Momoshiki like, creating his universe does scale to his AP, but that's based off of the way, like, chakra works. Because you amp yourself, you know, with your chakra, like, you amp your physical stats. Like, I don't, I don't know how, like, the Almighty works fully. Because I've had people give me conflicting information about how, like, hacks work in general in Bleach. Like, I have this friend who always contradicts himself when he explains hacks in Bleach. He likes to say that, um, that the hacks scale to your AP, then he says they don't, or they don't for some characters or something, but you, you can't really have it both ways. E either, um, either it scales to your AP if you don't, uh, if you want, like, the context for what he, like, means. He always brings up, like, Aizen. He says, like, um, like, people who, um, uh, like, if you're stronger than someone, you can overpower their hacks, but then he says that, like, Aizen is weaker than you watch, um, but then, um, like, his hacks still work on him, so I don't know. Okay, let me read this real quick. Are you talking about Shimigami? Yeah, <laughs> I was trying not to say his God name, damn. but yeah. <laughs> God I'm not editing that out, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see. Okay, sure. So, um, you think that because he was going to rebuild everything, it has to scale to his AP? I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, and here's why. It's not like he was going to pull, like, a super boo and, like, hit someone with that power. It's not like, like, when he was gonna merge the universes, like, Ichigo was like, yeah, I'm gonna punch away your hack or something. And then Yuwash was like, dang, and started swapping hands, right? If anything, everyone was scared of that, right? Even, like, Ichigo and Aizen, right? So, it's basically almost direct confirmation that, um... Like, that doesn't scale to anyone. If he's gonna merge the realms, everyone's gonna die, pretty much. If that makes sense. And, like, yeah, you do see the energy pouring into Aizen, like, from the planet or whatever. But, that's just it. it. Like, it was only the energy from the planet, right? So, I don't think that that necessarily means that he'd be universal. Um, now, if we saw, like, the energy coming from, like, the sky or something, where, like, um... 
you know, like, every planet, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? Because, like, it's confirmed that there are stars in the Soul Society, but we don't really see Aizen, I mean, not Aizen, I'm sorry, Yawatch absorbing them, if that makes sense. Also, didn't Aizen lose to Yawatch? Because that's what my friends always tell me. Okay, let me see. I know there's a feed of Aizen saying, uh, I mean, it's a statement if it was said, but I get what you mean. Your watch, his energy was left behind, which is the same energy he used to destroy everything. Um, can you show me, like, um, like the exact, like, scans? <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's... It it's not that bad, Crimson, like, I'm just ga glad, like, even though this is text and he kind of can't scream at me, I'm just glad he's not screaming at me, like, um, one of the last debates I had with someone who I didn't know, like, I was debating, like, I mean, I did know him, I'm not even, I, I it's one of the people that he, okay, okay, story time, <laughs> so there was this guy that came into my server at one point, and, um, like, he was responding to my, like, Minato versus the Third Raikage video, and he ended up debating me and a bunch of other people, indi individually, of course, we didn't jump him or anything, um, and every single debate, and I've debated him twice, because I was trying to, like, play VR chat one day, and he just randomly came in VC and started debating me, but he, like, screams at me every time we debate, so I'm just glad this isn't like that. Was that Momo? Uh, no, it was, um... Crap, what's this guy's name? Um, crap. Uh, Zamari, there we go. Yeah, this is Guy, his name's, like, Zamari. Um, yeah, oh, I actually I got my... Say. I actually got my debate with him on recording, because I was, re like, gonna record me myself playing VR chat and, uh, with mm. Punk Rider, and, um, like, he came into VC randomly. Uh, not even in my versus debate server, which he's in, and we had our first debate in. We were in my other server, which is just for, like, chilling and relaxing. And he, like, randomly joined. I don't even know how he got the invite to that server. But, like, he got an invite, and he joined VC, the gaming VC, no less, and then started, like, debating me, and we he ended up screaming at me, and then I started screaming at him. That's odd. <laughs> yeah. I still don't know if I want to upload that. I mean, I always, like, enjoy you spread. So, I would I would enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because like I don't get mad that uh, all that often. Like even in real life, most of my IRL friends have never seen me mad before. And what happened with Momo? He was I was <laughs> presenting him with the preponderance of evidence, and then he said my scans weren't evidence, and that I could give him a thousand scans, and it wouldn't like, mean anything, even though I literally explained the full context. It's not like I was leaving anything out or anything. And then he just, like, wouldn't accept my evidence. It was really bad. And he kept interrupting me and accusing me of interrupting him, which is completely bad. I, I hate that so much. Like, why are you interrupting me and then yelling at me for interrupting you if I'm not even interrupting you? And then after a while, I was like, no, forget it. And I... I stopped him from, like, interrupting him, uh, interrupting me, and, uh, I, like, told him to shut up and stuff, and, um, like... You know, that's, this reminds me of that one Sam and Jack episode, where it was, like, Jack versus Aku, and I said, I predicted that you predicted that I predicted that you would cheat, or, like, some, 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 some like that. Yeah, okay, uh, it's, he got this gun, let me see. Um, okay, so I'm assuming after he, like, drinks all the energy in the planet, um, Aizen says, like, that's the last of his power.
Okay. Right. Okay, um, sure. Let me see. <laughs> like a DBZ charge up. <laughs> I like that analogy. I'm definitely a Dragon Ball Tard. Um, just like I'm a Naruto Tard. And I'm getting into Bleach. I plan to become a Bleach Tard eventually. But I'm only like a third of the way there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be the ble best Bleach Tard XD. Haha. <laughs> no, let me stop. Um, but, <laughs> alright, um, okay, sure, so, this black stuff, um, can you give me, like, con, like, what kind of energy is this, cause I'm, it's, it's obviously not, like, regular reishi, like, um, like, it's definitely not regular reishi, right, cause when the Quincy's, um, when they, like, absorb, like, reishi, it does, it definitely does not look like that, so can you, like, explain what this black stuff is like exactly like what kind of energy is it cuz i think think my friend said that like or yeah 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 my friends say that um he absorbed the soul king or something is that what that is like the the essence of the soul king or something like that Okay. Um, you still there, um, Pulsey? Yeah, yeah, I'm just reading his text. Keep in mind, this is VC to text. It's a little bit slower than regular VC, but not as slow as full-on text, so I prefer it than, like, regular text. I'm sorry what happened before and stuff. Nah, it's fine. Right, okay, um, so, at that point, I would just ask you, um, if, like, Ichigo was supposed to be a threat in his true Bankai, would that mean, like, like, why would Aizen necessarily scale to this level if, like, Ichigo's full power was, like, too much, right? If Aizen was a threat to your watch, wouldn't he just, like, neg all of his powers with his fate manipulation? Cause that's what I would do, right? If you're like, a if you're actually relevant to me, I'm gonna neg all your abilities and then, um, like, just doo doo on you when <laughs> you're defenseless, pretty much. Wait, you're saying Aizen has more Ryatsu than Ichigo? What do you mean?
Oh, uh, so you think that your wa- that, um, sorry, not your watch. You think that, um, Aizen's stronger than Ichigo, because Ichigo didn't want to fight him? I mean... Oh, well, I'll let you respond first, hold on. Oh, Aizen never fought you watch? That's interesting, okay. Oh, so he only put him under hypnosis. Interesting. So, okay, let me ask you a big question. This is very important for this whole debate. Um, Do you think that, like, Hacks and Bleach are, like, if they scale to your AP, like, in general... Yeah, that's fine. I, uh, yeah, I know my friend uh, Shinigami always talks about Kubo being rushed. Sure, okay. Um,. But not Aizen. Okay, that's a that's a good answer. Um, right. So when you say that you think your watch is hack scale to him, and um, not necessarily Aizen, right? So um, do you think that higher power can neg um Aizen's mind hacks? Like to a significant degree. Like, for example, if someone's, like, a thousand times stronger than Aizen. Oh, here it is, okay. Uh, hard, you watch, be stronger than Aizen, alter futures. Yeah, okay, that's, that's, that's fine. Um, okay, so if Aizen's mind hacks isn't really negated by raw power, why would Aizen scale to Ichigo or you watch or either of them, right? Uh, if he can just mind hacks Ichigo or Aizen and not really have to do anything, right? He can literally, like, make either of them. Um, you know, just jump off a bridge or something. <laughs> I don't know, like, that's a bad example, but, you know, you get the picture, right? You can make them, like, think they killed him and lower their guard and stab him. Because is like, um, like, uh, not, not trying to appeal to Seth or anything, but, uh, isn't he supposed to be, like, the, the self-proclaimed, uh, second smartest in the Soul Society? Yeah, because I, I read, like, the very like I'm on the visor arc in the manga. I watched the entire anime and I watched like Seth videos and like swag videos. <laughs> um, and like not swag, I'm sorry, I meant uh, Clyde. Um, so like I can just know from like them and some of my other friends or bleach tards. I'm gonna get there one day, I will reach the level of bleach tard eventually. Also, One Piece tard, I love One Piece too. Wait, well, how come you keep saying tard? Oh, um. Because I like to. <laughs> like, unironically, that's the actual reason. I just like saying it. When I like a show, I'm a tard for that show. I, even though I'm not technically, like, a tard, I still call myself one because it's funny. Wait, so is the debate still going or it's over? Yeah, it's okay. still going. Oh, okay. Alright, let me see. Let me read this real quick. Right, that's what I'm, that, yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, um, yeah, it's exactly, like, it doesn't, it's, the final arc is really weird, so I'm saying, like, um, but I'm trying to make sense of it as best I can, right, we can't just say, well, things don't make sense, therefore, you know, we can't do anything with it, I'm trying to apply as much logic as I can to this situation, if that makes sense.
So, um, like, so why would, uh, Aizen scale to Ichigo or you watch in that case, then? Like these versions, obviously, not like the weaker ones, they don't matter. Yo, can you guys hear my dog in the background? I mean, I didn't even know you had a dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just hope it's not getting picked up on the recording. Um, yeah, I This do, is the first time I've been hearing about you even having a dog. <laughs> yeah, he's half German <laughs> Shepherd, half Labrador. He's like, he's pretty skinny, kind of like me, and um. He stands on his back legs. He's pretty tall. Like he could bite most people in the face. It's it's great. Wait, what? Okay, we all know. Yeah, it's That's great. That's probably cap. No, no, it's it's actually true. Wait, also, can, you can, can jump he bite? Can, wait, can he bite you in the face if he's standing on four legs or one or on two? I mean, on two. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> actually, now that I got a little bit tall, back when I was like five, I wanna say five. Eight ish, he could do it like no diff. Now he has to like jump a little bit, like barely like a few inches because I got like a bit taller. Oh, wow, cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you know, most people aren't like tall. Okay, um, let me see. Uh, finding scans. Alright, yeah, okay. It's, it's his Ryatsu. Okay. Let me, uh, let me read that scan real quick. Let me open this up. Kurosaki's eight inch Ichigo is his is his latent ability. Kenpachi is his fighting strength. He so he is his wisdom. Aizen reacts for his unknown means. Yura Yurahara. Um, I mean, okay, so here's, here's the thing, right? I'm, okay, so there's a few different things about this. It's funny, because my, uh, my buddy Splash had a debate, um, sort of about, like, not a debate, but, like, a discussion on this very thing that I'm about to bring up, but I think that you watch scales to Ichigo in terms of an overall fight, but I do not think that Aizen scales to Ichigo in terms of like raw AP, if that makes sense. Like, uh, like for instance, uh, I think that like, um, what's a good example? Like Minato is like faster than like Hashirama, for exist, uh, for instance. But I don't think he's stronger than Hashirama. Um, but at the same time, now this this next part is really debatable. But I can argue that like. Um, like, Minato has ceiling, but, like, Hashirama might not have resistance to ceiling, so Minato could still possibly win, because he speed blitzes and seals. It's sort of like that. Like, you know, Aizen could be relative to Ichigo in terms of speed, and would one-shot him with Kyokusui Getsu, but not necessarily have the raw AP. Because this is saying, like, they're all similar because of different things. Like, um, Kisuke has his unknown thing, you know, Kim Pachi's his fighting strength. That's actually very important. The fact that it says fighting strength for Kim Pachi, but not Aizen, so that would just mean that Aizen scales to them in terms of, like, mind hacks, not raw AP. So I, I think this kind of debunks him scaling in terms of, like, AP to people like Ichigo. But in terms of, like, fighting overall, in, like, inverse, sure. If that makes sense. Yeah.
Okay. By the way, anyone who's watching the video, please don't <laughs> don't get triggered for like the analogy that I used with Minato. Like I said, it's debatable. I might make that a video at some point though. Minato versus Ashiro. Cough, cough. <laughs> Bro, you're about to. If you do, a bomb will be dropped in the entire Naruto community. Just like, it would, listen, you're listen. Like, I'm serious. A bomb will be dropped if you do that. <laughs> Listen, they're gonna like they're gonna like use you as Nagasaki and then just throw bombs at you like. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll be waiting though. I'm gonna make sure I have nothing to do that day, and just like sit in VC and wait for everyone to come attack me. Like just sit in VC in my versus debate server to wait for people to come storm me. <laughs> That'll be fun. Yeah. All right. Let me see. Okay. Um. Sure. So the thing here, right? Um, oh snap, I almost dropped my laptop. No, okay. So, <laughs> um, alright, yeah, so, in terms of, um, like, raw AP, uh, hold on, someone's calling the house phone. Give me a sec, hold up. Yo, I am so sorry about that, um, phone. Anyway, let me read what you said. Sure. Uh, well, I do want to go over one more thing, um, about the infinite universe. I don't want to make this, like, a debate about, like, you know, universal, like, bleach or whatever. But, at the same time, um, I do want to go over that universal thing, right, uh, well, nah, Mugen can be infinite, that's fine, I don't really care about that. Now nah, we can move on to Naruto being Universal Plus. Um, I'll go get the scans right now. One sec. Yeah, yeah, I have a, like, a bad habit of, like, extending my debates, like, too long, because they're fun. Um... <laughs> with <coughs> Cool Geek versus Fate. Oh, God. <laughs> we don't we don't we, we don't talk about that one. We don't talk about that one. <laughs> Alright, um yeah. Let me see. Let me go get the scans. Alright, where is it? Do 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 Where's my Naruto stuff? Right here. Let me see. Alright. Gotta click over. There it is. Alright. So, I'm gonna get the main ones for this argument.
why he doesn't like Universal Naruto or something. Uh, a little multiversal. Yeah, um, yeah, I can argue a little multiversal, but I don't agree with it, though. Yeah, I think that's a bit too much. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna get the main three scans. I'm gonna drop them. And, um, yeah, we're gonna be good. Actually, I'll, I'll get four scans, just to make sure we're clear. There we go. All right, now I just gotta drop them in the shot. All right, I'm gonna drop four of them at the same time, but I'll explain all of them uh, one by one. Um, actually, let me get the other scan that's gonna be important uh, as well. So it's gonna be five scans altogether. Whoopsie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know that you know Crimson, but, um... Did I read the novel? Um, hold on, we'll see, let me see. Depends on, uh, the one. <laughs> you debate Crimson a lot? That's funny. Okay, there we go. Speaking of novel, is that the one you are talking about, Crimson? Yeah, thought so. Okay, so yeah, I didn't. I, uh, I haven't read it in its entirety. I must confess, but um, like I've read like bits and pieces of it. Um, but uh, basically, the arguments that I'm gonna use for these, um, I don't know if they're gonna be the same as Crimson, but essentially Momoshiki in base, no less, right? He created his own parallel dimension. And, uh, in the second scan that I posted, and the m bottom most one, they both refer to it as a parallel dimension, right? Which should mean it's the same size as, um, you know, the main universe, right? Because it's parallel to it, right? Also, in the first scan I dropped, it's sort of to back that up, because we see full-on, like, nebulas, stars, you know, you know, there's, like, red shifting. And, uh, also a little bit of confirmation. Now, this last one is probably the most shaky of the parallel dimension arguments, but if you look behind that god tree over there, you see a planet that looks awfully similar to Jupiter. So, it being based off of the main Naruto universe is sort of backed up by the fact that a planet that should exist in the Naruto universe, right? If the Naruto universe is anything like ours, that being Jupiter exists, that's another piece of evidence. So, there's the, the nebulas, right? There's the red shifting, and there's there's Jupiter and the fact that it's called the parallel dimension. All of those things should, you know, mean that it is, well, a parallel dimension. Um, and uh, the third scan and the fourth scan both are to back up the next part of what I'm about to say. Um, but it's all dimension, like pretty much most dimensions in the Naruto-verse are their own space-times. So Momoshiki creating a dimension would inherently mean that he's creating the space-time as well. Like, this is consistent. All throughout the Kaguya fight, there's numerous different statements like, yeah, this is my dimension, oh, the root, this is my space-time, oh, I'm in the root space-time, I'm gonna create a new space-time, you know, they always refer to Kaguya's dimension as a space-time. And Kaguya is massively inferior to even base Momoshiki, because, um, because um, no, uh, Sasuke was convinced that Kenshiki was a threat greater than Kaguya after just fighting Kenshiki, let alone Momoshiki. Well, yeah, War Kaguya at the very least.
I, I still think, maybe not Kenshiki, but I still think Momoshiki would slap, uh, Prime Kaguya, but we're not getting, we're not here to debate that. Um, but, um, yeah, so, what do you call it, you know, so, he'd be, uh, creating the, uh, the space-time of the universe itself, right? Not just all the physical matter. So what do you think? Are you are you fine with that? Cool. Yeah. Um the I don't I don't even remember the last part of what I said. I think I said um I'm saying like uh that um like this is a universal plus feet or like baseline four D because uh he created a parallel dimension. Yeah, um, yeah, he created the dimension and it's space-time, so that's 4D. <laughs> yeah, okay, um, yeah, and of course, uh, a little bit of, like, why it's 4D, it's because, you know, should be, um, interacting with a 4D construct here, you know, in terms of raw AP, um, but, yeah. Um, so, yeah, okay, so I guess on to speed then, you wanna explain, um, uh, Aizen's speed, cause, you know, Sasuke, he fought, I don't, I don't know if I need to say this, but, like, he fought, you know, fused Momoshiki, him and Naruto, as a matter of fact, Naruto, um, uh, it depends how fast you, if you think, like, each, like, uh, like, Aizen's infinite speed or something, I guess you can get statements for that, but, um, but if you, like, want to do MFTL+, plus, which, I mean, I can do both. I think MFTL+, plus is safer, but I can do an accessible speed. Yeah, I have two main tiers for Naruto, that being MFTL+, plus and inaccessible. Like, Naruto as in, like, the top tiers of the verse. Naruto, Sasuke, even, like, Momoshiki, all that good stuff. By the way, I do want to point out, um, um... Uh, wait, let me see. Wait, what do you mean the second one? You mean, um, like, if you want to do, like, uh, speed and do, like, MFTL Plus, we can do calc, sure. I actually have my own calc, um, that I made. Oh, you want to do an accessible, uh, inex what's the second one? An inaccessible speed? Uh, inaccessible speed is, um, it's essentially the next layer above infinite speed, but below a measurable speed. Uh, someone who, say, moves in a timeless void would have an accessible speed. Uh, it's essentially, it's no matter how, it's sort of like the different, it's, okay, the way I like to think of it, right, is it's like the difference between infinite 3D and, like, baseline 4D, but in terms of speed instead of AP. It's an inaccessible difference. Like, even if you go infinite upon infinite of infinite 3D, you'll never reach 4D. It's an inaccessible difference. You can never access 4D from 3D, no matter how high you are. It's basically the same thing. No matter how many infinites you stack up upon infinite speed, you'll never reach an accessible speed. Because infinite speed is um, being able to move an infinite distance in a finite amount of time. Well, an accessible speed is not needing time altogether. You can move either a finite distance or an infinite distance. Because there's, there's levels to these things. There's levels to all speed tiers. Even, you know, infinite speed, there's levels of infinity. An accessible speed, it's like how far can you go in, like, a void, essentially, in this no time, essentially. Um, but yeah, it's essentially movement in, uh, no time, and it's the next level above infinite speed. If you want, I can present my inaccessible argument, and if you don't want to do, like, that high, we can go down to MFTL+, plus, because, like I said, I think you can argue either one. MFTL+, plus is probably safer, though, so it's up to you. But I can present my inaccessible speed argument, we just won't count it, just so you'll, like, know the that it exists and, like, how it works, essentially. Oh, by the way, no worries about spelling. I am a really bad speller, dude. I am, like, the worst speller ever, almost. 
Yeah, so the argument for inaccessible speed, right? I have two sort of sub arguments, but the main the main one that I like to use is that because Naruto has and Sasuke and Momoshiki, all of those people have 4D chakra potency, right? In raw chakra potency, it's 4D. And that's inaccessibly greater than normal third dimensional chakra that all those random shinobi are running around with. If their chakra potency is inaccessibly greater than normal, then that wouldn't only apply to their AP, it would also apply to their speed. Because chakra directly enhances not only AP, but also speed. So if it's inaccessibly increases one stat, it should in inaccessibly increase the other stat as well, if that makes sense. As a matter of fact, I can argue via, like, the eight gates that chakra might unironically amp speed more than AP. Because, um, Mike Guy said that the eight gates were Neji's kryptonite. Because, um, they make Lee too fast for Neji to keep up with. They didn't say anything about raw AP, which is important because later on we see Nar to, like, physically punch through, like, the palm rotation of Neji. Um... So it might unironically amp speed more than AP, but I'm just going to say it should be give or take relative. Um, so yeah, amping, and even if you say it's more or less, it doesn't matter, because an inaccessible difference is still an inaccessible difference. Even if you think that it's like thousands of times less of a speed increase than AP, thousands doesn't matter to inaccessible. It's still inaccessible, if that makes sense. It would just be like lower into inaccessible, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's the inaccessible speed argument for uh, Naruto characters, or at least part of it. I can like do it. I can spend hours talking about it, but I'm not. I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> Wait. So is it still going? Yeah, it is. Uh... Yeah, this is fun. I like talking to this guy. Yeah, it seems nice. I don't do. All right. Let me see. It's not about 4D, it's about being above space and... Um, 4D is really convoluted. Um, a lot of scientists don't agree on what 4D even, like, is. But essentially, it's having four dimensions to you. Now, that's... It sounds simple at face value, but when you look deeper into it, it's not exactly that simple. The 4D can mean, um, like, four spatial dimensions. Like, that's what everyone agrees is 4D. But some people think three spatial dimensions and one temporal dimension is 4D. That's where Universal Plus comes from, like, the, what they have on Versus Wiki. That's where that comes from. Um, I, I, I do think that's 4D as well, like, um, creating, like, a space-time, I do believe that's 4D. Um, now you can even, art now this part is, like, really debatable, no one really talks about this, except for some people I know, but you could potentially, like, theoretically, from a theoretical standpoint, you can have four temporal dimensions, and that could still be 4D. Or you can have two spatial dimensions and two temporal. Not saying I agree with all these models of 4D, but, you know, they they exist, I've heard people debate all of them, so, you know. So four, having four dimensions to you um, would be, and in this case, since I'm arguing it's length, width, depth, and time, the time aspect is what affects inaccessible speed, right? If you can move in a void, um, if you have time as a part of your like energy, right, as a part of your chakra, then that would inherently mean that you should be able to move in an area with no time, because you have your own time as a part of you, if that makes sense. Like, time, like, they li literally, if you think they have 4D chakra, that means that time amps their speed. It's crazy. Yeah, I know. That's why I made a whole video on it, because I've, I've had, to, like, I've had entire debates on 4D anyway. So I give, yeah, like, a um... bunch of different 4D, like, models, and, like, how you can interpret it, and, like, what the basis is, and I use, like, a lot of, like, de like actual definitions, not just my own, like, well, I think this means this. No, I, I pulled up the actual definitions to things. I think, um, your, your analyzation video on, like, the 4D was pretty d interesting, though. It's like 4D, um, I don't like the other dimensional stuff, 
Wordy is, um, while it's not as high as the other stuff, it's interesting when you're explaining and looking into it. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, especially because uh, one of my hobbies to just do randomly is, like, research, like, IRL cosmology. Um, so I do have a bit of knowledge on, um, like, the different theories, like string theory, the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, even, like, Hilbert Space, I have a, at least a baseline information on Hilbert Space, stuff like that. Also, the quilted multiverse theory, which I still think is stupid. Not because I think it's wrong, I just think the name is misleading, that's all. Wait, the M theory? Are you about that? Oh yeah, M theory. Yeah, it's it's when I say string theory, I mean string theory, super string oh, theory, okay. and M theory. They're all basically literally the other two are just like more evolved string theory. Like super string theory is just regular string theory but better, M theory is just super string theory but better. It's basically the same thing. Um, okay, so there's a thing about Aizen being above time and space. Oh, wait, here. Do you think in fiction, a being of a higher dimension can negate all hacks used against them by a lower dimension? Um, that depends, Crimson, because there are characters that are, like, stated to have, like, hacks that are, like, above them. So, it, it's just sort of on a case-by-case -case basis, but, um... I think that a hack only works to the extent that it has been shown. So I think if the hack has only been shown to work on 3D people, I don't think it should be able to work on a 4D person. Unless it was stated that like the hack is from a higher dimension, which has unironically been stated in some verses before. Yeah, exactly. It's literally on a case-by-case -case basis. You can't tell me that Flash is, like, you know, like, like, 4D or something, but can use his hacks on, like, 5D people, like, and his hacks don't work on stronger people, like, that, that doesn't, that doesn't work, like, you can't tell me that that's not how that works, because it's literally shown. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's funny because even people that are like better debaters than me, um, like my buddy Thanos, me and him will like have conversations on like dimensional tiering and stuff. And, uh, you know, just people in general that are like massively better debaters. Well, we can still all like sit down and talk about like dimensional tiering and stuff like that, and I can like keep up. <laughs> Oh, that argument. I mean, I think that argument is blatantly, like... Mm, I don't think that, uh, what do you call it? Um, when... <laughs> sorry, I can't say this with a straight face. I'm sorry. Um, but I don't think when Aizen says that Ichigo transcends him and he transcends Shinigamis and Hollows, I don't think that should be taken too literal. Because I definitely don't think... Because like I said, I've seen the entire anime, and I don't think um, that Aizen transcends Yamamoto. I'm sorry, I cannot believe that. Like, when people, like, talk about this, right, it's like, okay, you think he transcends Shinigamis and Hollow. What about the fact that he would not fight Yamamoto or Kenpachi, even though he knew that he can evolve? He just sealed them away and was like, no, I'm not fighting them no matter what. So, he definitely doesn't transcend them at all.
Also, what is that first scan? Um, like, uh, what is it? Hold on. Okay, uh, Ichigo is at a point above anything in the verse. I mean, Ichigo is weird. Um, like, okay, so here's my issue with them being transcendent, right? Not only is it odd, right? Um, but, so, okay, wait, so, just because he's above anything in the verse doesn't mean he's a dimensional tier above everything in the verse, if that makes sense, right? Like, for instance, um, I mean, I, like, okay, so, like, uh, for instance, the ten tails, right? I know <laughs> some of my friend, one of my friends specifically might watch this video and get very, very mad at me, but, um, um, yeah, I, I know, um, yeah, I know, it's, it's all sort of the same thing, right? He, Aizen said the difference between Ichigo and himself was the same difference as himself and, you know, like, normal Shinigami, so it's basically the same exact statement, because Aizen said that it's the same thing, pretty much. Um, but, like, essentially, you can make arguments, like the Ten Tails, right? Um, the Nine Tails said that he could not comprehend the Ten Tails. Like, that's a legit scan, right? He says that he can't even comprehend him, right? That his energy was immeasurable, and you can't sense him because you cannot sense what is immeasurable, right? Um, but I don't think, at least not in every case, you can actually unironically make a pretty legit argument for, um... No, 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 I'm not saying Yami, uh... Kenpachi, maybe. Uh, maybe... Maybe I'm just hyping up Kenpachi too much because I like him, but... Um, like, definitely not Yami. I actually don't think Yami's that strong, but... <laughs> let's not go off on that tangent. Um, but basically, um... He didn't want to fight specifically Yamamoto. You can say he could beat Kenpachi, that's whatever, but... I really don't think he could have beaten Yamamoto at all. Um... But yeah, like, the example of, like, comparing, like, the Ten Tails to, like, weaker characters, like the Nine Tails, right? The Nine Tails literally said that he couldn't comprehend the Ten Tails. The Ten Tails was beyond his comprehension, right? And that he's immeasurable and all that good stuff, right? Um, and that on its own, I don't think can, like, necessarily makes you literally transcend your opponent, right? Like, I think stuff like that can be pretty easily dismissed as hyperbole. Especially when it's not consistent with other things. Like, for instance, the Nine Tails says that Ten Tails, like, transcends him. But, like, Naruto with KCM2, who shouldn't be too far off from the, the full-on Nine Tails, um, or at least one half of them anyway, stacks on, like, Sage Mode, right? Um, oh, you're talking about Aizen destroying the cleaner? Oh, I thought you were talking about, um, like, Aizen transcending. Okay, then that's fine. Yeah, because you dropped, like, the three scans together, so I was addressing the bottom ones first. Yeah, or at least the middle one. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, alrighty then, let me read this top scan real quick. Rayatsu list dimension inside of time. Let me see. Conceptual being. Let me see. Conceptual being. Do, 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 do. Yo, what is this scan? Where is this from? Uh, yeah, can you give me the scan of that and, like, the context of why you think that's 4D? Yeah, I've never heard... <sighs> Sorry. Um, I never heard anyone, like, argue that, like, destroying the cleaner was 4D. This is interesting. Yeah, this is one of the reasons I actually like to drag out debates, because, like, I'll learn more. Because I like learning stuff.
Yeah, I think, by the way, I think Yami's, not to, like, um, change the subject, but, um, like, I do think Yami's, like, really overrated, honestly. Okay. Yeah, like, I, I actually do think that, um, hold on, can you hear that in my background? Huh, I don't see my green thing lighting up, that's crazy, yeah, Discord's noise suppression has been working. I just hope it doesn't pick all that up on the recording. Um, but... Uh, what do you call it? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think Yami would probably lose to, like, Ukiora. Not necessarily because of, like, raw AP, but I think, like, Yami gets... Hold on. Sorry about that, one of my little siblings was yelling and like, what, what is that, like three rooms over for no reason? I don't know, that was weird. Um, but yeah, like, I think Yami would get blitzed by Ukiora, because he's like really slow. I mean, not slow in general, but like, compared to like, other like, faster Espadas. Yeah, Bleach is good, though. I like watching Bleach. Wait, is this still going? Yeah, it's still going. Yeah, he's making an argument that I've never heard of before. He's arguing that, um, because Aizen, like, murdered the cleaner, Aizen would be 4D off of that, which is interesting. Wait, who's the cleaner? Yeah, the cleaner and the dong guy. Apparently there's some, like, 4D arguments for that. It's interesting. Wait, so like, Kobe, like, when you're finished, like, can you help me out with some Gar Gara stuff? Yeah, no problem, I got you. Yeah, Gara's the goat. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to start putting out Bleach videos. Because, um, I'ma do, like, videos in, like, I'ma section them off, like, by verse. Like, right now I'm doing, like, some Naruto videos. Um, and then I'm gonna do some, uh, some, uh, Bleach stuff after. I've been sort of deciding on what I want to do next after Naruto, if I want it to be, like, Dragon Ball, Bleach, or, um, what do you call it, uh, or My Hero. Because I have been doing a lot of My Hero stuff recently. <laughs> yeah, Bleach stuff is really convoluted, it's really weird. Yeah, I don't really mind, though. Kenpachi, and it's funny, because Ichigo is actually, like, not one of my favorite characters. A lot of people, like, like Ichigo so much. I actually don't really know why, but whatever. You know, my favorite characters are Kenpachi and Grimjow, actually. Which is ironic, because the entire reason I got into Bleach is because I got a video uh, suggestion. Someone in my comment section uh, that joined my server asked me uh, in one of the chats to do, um... Roranora Zoro versus Kenpachi. Um, and I was like, okay, it's not time to get reading. So I started reading uh, the One Piece manga, and I started watching the Bleach anime. After I finished the Bleach anime, I started uh, watching, uh, reading the Bleach manga too. Okay. Actually, I didn't like Aizen for quite a while, because I was being petty. I was like, uh, he killed Holly Bell, why? He's so stupid, he did, she did, Holly Bell did nothing wrong, hashtag Holly Bell did nothing wrong, XD, no, okay, I wasn't, I didn't sound like that, but you get the picture, I was like salty, cause I thought he killed Holly Bell, and then someone told me that she's still alive, apparently, so, yeah. It's funny, cause at first I didn't even remember her name, I called her the thick Aronkar chick. <laughs> 
But you know, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> yeah, I do like Uryu, by the way. Uryu is a pretty good character. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Zoro dies, but I did hear this one argument. And I'm not that much into One Piece, like, um, not that far into it, so... And also, chap like, I always tell people that, say, like, Bleach is gonna win. Like, One Piece is still going, so even if One Piece loses today, a cha the newest One Piece chapter could come out tomorrow and have, like, a thousand, like, outer versal feats or something. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my sister's cat's trying to eat my burger. Oh, did I read the new Boruto? Actually, no, I haven't been keeping up with Boruto recently. I've been doing a lot of other stuff. That's one of the reasons I haven't, like, uploaded on my channel in a while, is because, um, I've been doing a ton of, like, IRL stuff. Why, is it crazy? <laughs> oh wait i mean if you want to fight like i can tell you like where we can meet up at in real life i'm just saying no let me stop let me stop <laughs> although if you want i'm not i'm not refusing Oh my, yo, 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 brother, stop yelling. Oh my gosh, my brother's yelling. This is so annoying. Why is he doing that? He's literally not even saying anything. Oh my gosh, we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> not gonna lie, I did that as a kid, though. I would just randomly, like, make noise. Is he meowing at the cat? Anyway, I'm gonna try to ignore that. Hopefully the recording does not pick it up. Um, yes, I'm recording. That's why I've been telling you to stop yelling. Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, you can spoil it. That's fine. Let me see. Oh. Interesting. He is- Oh my gosh, there were so many theories about how he's connected to Jiraiya, and he's a clone. That's wild. I should probably put a timestamp to skip the spoilers. <laughs> Not everyone wants this, that's crazy. Ooh, and it says his loss was predestined. More fate stuff for Naruto. Okay, okay, let's go. Alright. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, by the way, Patchy, uh, I mean, you don't need to get the scan right, even if I steal men, that one statement as well, right, and it says, um, like, the cleaner is like, uh, like, it's outside of time, I think the statement was, something like that, even if I were to steal men that, um, it wouldn't really be mean anything, like, it still wouldn't be consistent, right, um, there's still, like, anti-feats, if that makes sense. Um, I mean, all that would really be, I mean, it could be a hyperbole, or it would just be, um, what do you call it, uh, an outlier. Or it could just be conceptual hacks, it doesn't necessarily have to be AP or anything. Like, uh, for instance, right, uh, Nagato's Renegon was stated to, like, 
it's hacks transcend the concepts of life and death, right? You can argue that, like, all that... That doesn't mean, like, anything for AP, but you can argue that, like, being above, like, concepts could be, like, conceptual hacks, potentially. Um, not saying I believe that it is, but you can argue it if we're going down that route. And actually, if we go down that route, it's actually not that bad arg of an argument. Like, there are pretty consistent arguments for Naruto characters having, like, hacks that are above con concepts. Like, for instance, like, Minato's flying Raijin was stated to ignore the concepts of space and distance. So, yeah. That's a thing. Which is funny, because, like, some people have blitzed, like, Toby Rama and Minato mid teleport before. Just saying. Like, I've heard people argue before that, like, concepts can just be, like, mountain level or something. So, yeah. Conceptual doesn't necessarily mean 4D at all. By the way, if you don't want me to use the inaccessible speed argument, because we were supposed to be on speed, but we kind of backtracked a little bit into, like, AP again. I can get my, uh, speed calc for Momoshiki real quick that I made myself. I can get it real quick. Where did I put it? Oh, whoops. I'm not supposed to click there. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, let me, um, go grab the scan. It's fine, I'll use the low end of my calc. I actually calced it out, like, four different ways, and I always use the low end anyway, because people don't like when I use the high end or the mid end for some reason. I think it's because, like, Seth, like, always uses low ends in a lot of his, like, videos, like, his Dragon Ball ones. And it's funny, because he literally says it all the time, he's like, yeah, and this is a low ball. So, like, I started doing it, too, actually. I would do that all the time. And now I don't do it. People get mad at me. <laughs> Here's the calc. Yeah, so I'll drop the calc in general. Um, I mean, not in general, sorry, in f uh, the chat where you're typing. Sorry, I'm starting to get a little bit tired. Um, but, yeah, this is my MFTL speed calc for Momoshiki. For context, it's based off of the uh, scan from... Um, let me see what you call it, um, where it's, like, pulling back dimension, and, um, there's a few different, uh, like, numbers you can get from this. If you think he pulled the chakra from, like, one end of his, you know, like, the other end, that would be something, but the lowest calc is, um, you think it was, like, some of the universe, and he pulled the chakra from, like, the sides of so yeah um that's the thing so let me look at the calc real quick it's been a while since i used this um Let's 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, um, if you think that he took Chakra from one end of the universe to, like, the center, um, then, uh, and the time frame I used was a year, because it wouldn't make sense for it to be, like, any longer, because literally Momoshiki, uh, had to, like, pull Chakra in order to, like, get stronger to fight people, unless you think he's, like, trillions of years old or something. Um, he, he only has so many years to even, like, um, like, wait to get stronger. If, <coughs> if it took his, like, Chakra, like, over a year to get to him, he would most likely choose a more effective, like, method to get Chakra. So, yeah, I used a year as my time frame, and, um, if you use that, it would, uh, it would make Momoshiki 4.6, I mean, no, 46.5 billion times the speed of light. Um, if you want the exact number, it's like 46 billion, 508 million is the exact number. Did I put my name on this calc? No, I didn't. This is the first, uh, speed calc. That I did on a Google Doc, actually. The other one was, like, a really, like, sloppy one. It was kind of bad. Let me put my name on it, so if anyone finds it, they can credit me properly. Like, if they use it in a video. Maybe, maybe the Mighty Animation Rewind will see my calc and use it or something. And he can give me a shout-out <laughs> or something. I don't know. Yeah, the, this calc is actually, the this, like, my first one was really bad. Yeah, it wasn't fleshed out. It was really bad. I didn't, like, cite anything, pretty much. I just explained what it was. Because I didn't expect other people to use it. But, uh, I actually, I made it for a video, actually. Uh, and then, like, I had the other scans in the video. So I didn't, like, expect, like, other, like, random people to use it, if that makes sense. But then I saw it floating around on Discord. And, uh, like, other people had it. And I was like, I'm so proud people are using my calc. <laughs> Okay, I'm exaggerating, but, you know, that's, that's how it felt. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this calc is much better, I, I like it. Although, a lot of the scans aren't in it, that's why I gave, like, the scan from the, um, from the novel, and, like, told you that it's from there. Because that's what it's calcing. Okay, let me look at your calc here. Okay, let me see. Do -do 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 -do. Sure, okay, uh, I'll address this. Let me see. One week. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Okay. One minute, an hour, and a day. Yada, yada, yada. Suppressed. Mm-hmm, completed, nine hours. Okay, <clears throat> so, I do have one main issue with this. Um, like, my biggest issue here is that, um, the, the multipliers for Bonkai... How do we know that they amp AP and speed the same? Me and one of my buddies always get it, get into it over this, but why would you assume? Like I, I explained for like chakra, like speed, like with the gates, right? That a uh, guy said it's specifically this other guy's kryptonite because of the speed, not necessarily AP, um, and stuff like that. But why would Ryatsu be the same? If that makes sense. Like why would the increase be linear with each other? Like, I'm not saying Ryatsu does not increase speed, I'm just asking why it increases speed by the same amount as AP, if that makes sense.
I mean, okay, okay, so let me, let me try to, um, rephrase that a little bit. So, I know Ryatsu increases speed, right? But, I don't know that there's enough evidence to say, if you get a 10 times increase in AP, that you should get a 10 times speed increase. Or if you get a 1,000 times strength increase, it should be a 1,000 times speed increase. Why, like, why would it, right? Why can't it be, like, an 8 times increase in speed with a 10 times increase in AP, or, you know, like, it could be literally anything, right? Because we don't, there's no statements of it being a 1 to 1 ratio speed to AP. All we know is that speed increases with AP, but we don't know by how much. To my knowledge, that is. Like, a perfect example would probably be, like, Soyphone's Bankai, right? We know she gets way stronger, but if I remember correctly, it was stated in the in the arc where, like, uh, the fake Katakura Town arc, I think that's what it's called, when they're, like, when the captains are facing the Arankars. She said specifically she didn't like her Bankai because it's, like, slowed her down and was, like, clunky or whatever. So, if anything, right, Soyphone's Bankai makes her slower. So why are all Bankais a 1 to 1 ratio of AP and speed? Not saying Ichigo's Bankai makes them slower, I do think it makes them faster, but that was just an example to say it's not always a 1 to 1 ratio, if that makes sense. Sure. Um. Right. Okay. Yeah, sure. But why are we assuming that Ichigo's is specifically a one-to-one -one ratio? Like, like I know Ichigo's Bankai makes him faster, right? I already said that, but... By how much, really, if that makes sense. Like, like Kimpachi's Bankai makes him faster than his, like, base, right? But by how much, if that makes sense. Like, do we think that Kimpachi gets 8 times faster, 10 times faster? Also, another issue with, like, Bankai multipliers is that it's stated to be 5 through 10 times, not necessarily 10 times as a concrete number. Um, same with, like... The, uh, the hollow mask. It's supposed to be similar to Bankai, which is, again, 5 through 10 times. Not necessarily 5 or 10. Like, it's not necessarily 10. Yeah, exactly, right? So it says Bankai's multiplier is a 5 to 10 times difference. Not necessarily one or the other. Wait, is this still going on? Yeah, it's still going on. Yeah, it's because he's making oh, wow. points that I think are interesting, so I don't want to just, like... Go Super Saiyan 10,000 mode and like end it in. <laughs> yeah, especially with there's like 10 times, oh, 5 to 10 times greater um, increase with the Bankai. Right, yeah, that's what we're going over right now. Yeah, also, I wanted to make sure this debate was more so like, um, like actual like scaling and not just like what I can argue because. As you of all people know, Frisk, like, I can pull out some crazy stuff, you know, to, like, <laughs> wank or downplay any character ever. Yeah, I've seen the Naruto stuff you do. <coughs> Mark 20 Flash! <coughs> what? Who who said that? <coughs> Outerversal Naruto! <coughs> what? Who said that? What? <laughs> <laughs> um... Sure, yeah, most people would get a... 5 through 10 times boost, yeah, I guess. Depends on the individual's innate talent and trick. Yeah, so like, no, so why would, um, yeah, sure, so it depends on the training. So why would we know that Ichigo's is specifically 10 times, though? I mean, specifically for speed. I'm, I'm fine with seal mining, it's for AP, but why for speed? Yeah, exactly. That's what I think, too. That's what I always tell my friend, Shinigami, that we need we need a, some sort of quantification. We can't just assume. Um, so, yeah. Um, 
Exactly. So I, I agree. We should, like, someone should calc it. I'll probably do it eventually, because I do, like I said, I plan on doing, like, a bunch of uh, Bleach videos. So I'll have to, do, like, do speed calcs and all that stuff. Um, but, yeah. I mean, it doesn't, this point doesn't really matter. I just wanted to see if you could, like, prove that it, like, increases equally with speed and AP. My calc is still, like, way higher, because yours is, like, in the millions. Mine is in, like, the billion, like, the tens of billions. So I have Sasuke faster, so, cause this, and by the way, that feed I posted was for base Momoshiki, um, and Sasuke ended up fighting fused Momoshiki, him and Naruto. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, uh, Sasuke should be faster, um, yeah, no, it's fine. Okay, Crimson. Uh, see you later, I guess. Alright. Yeah, um, but yeah, so, do you want to move on to, like, hacks? Because right now I have um, Sasuke at, um, Universal Plus, and you have, uh, uh what do you call it? Um, Aizen at anywhere from, like, Multi-Galaxy. If we do use that cleaner, like, the cleaner argument, I did kind of debunk it, um, and said it just, like, wouldn't be consistent overall. Um, and I did say I'd seal man like multi-galaxy, so I have the higher AP. Uh, via our two calcs, my speed is higher. Um, when you want to go into hacks, like, why, uh, like, Sasuke's hacks would, like, beat Aizen? Daddy, hey. too. In terms hey, of, boy, uh, in terms I of, like, uh, speed? Are you saying in terms of, like, speed or AP? Oh, in terms of AP, uh, multi-galaxy, I said I'd steal man, um, cause the 4D arguments don't really work. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's actually where it comes from. I'm saying, like, um, uh... Aizen should scale above Kimpachi and Kimpachi's multi galaxy. I mean I can seal man baseline universal. That's that's fine. I don't I don't really care. <laughs> I don't get the Aizen universal. Yeah. Yeah, um yeah, that's fine. But here's the thing about like universal though. I I'm not like I can seal man it is fine, but I do wanna add this to like the discussion as a whole. Um the issue with, like, I, like, Kenpachi being multi-galaxy, like, therefore Aizen's universal, the issue with that, though, is that just being stronger than multi-galaxy doesn't inherently make you universal. Multi-galaxy is a really broad range, right? Multi-galaxy can be, like, two times galaxy level, right? Um, just be, like, two galaxies, or it can be all the way up to, like, um, 199 billion galaxies, right? Because there's 200 billion galaxies in the, in the observable universe. So, just being unquantifiably stronger than multi-galaxy does not make you universal. I just want to, um, add that last part. Yeah, and I think, um, according, well, if we're just going to go off of, um, the numbers from the versus of wiki chart for multi-galaxy and universal, um, even though it's weird, um, universal has, like, a bigger gap with multi-galaxy than, like, say, small building to build food. Yeah. Yeah, um... Yeah, based, based off, off of what Yamamoto and Kisuke yeah. said, uh, I don't exactly know what you're talking about, but I already said I'd seal man you, so it's fine. Um, so you wanna move on to hacks then? Wait, is steel manning back? Yeah, I'm, I'm steel manning, like, baseline universal, cause that doesn't really I'm at universal plus, which is over infinitely greater, it's inaccessibly greater, so it doesn't really matter. Um, now, mm. alright, sure, let's go on to hacks. So, um, Sasuke's hacks, the main ones that I see being an issue for Ichigo, number one, I think is probably, this is probably one of the most crazy ones. These three, I'm gonna bring up three hacks, I, I think that's all I would need. The first one that comes to mind is the Renegon's uh, chakra absorption ability, uh, which is sort of the same as a soul sealing ability, like how he's able to rip out your soul and, like, absorb it. That thing there, because it's all body, so it's sort of the same pack. 
I think is a massive problem for Ichigo, right? Because if Ichigo is a soul, and, and uh, what do you call it? Sasuke can absorb his soul. I think that's a really big problem. I mean, Aizen, yeah, I'm sorry. If Aizen's a soul... Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm used to, like, people trying to use Ichigo, sorry. Uh, but, yeah, I think, um, that's a really big issue. Because if my character can steal souls, and he can steal them from people stronger than himself, right? Like, for instance, crippled Nagato that was brought back with the Edo Tensei was able to steal Chakra from, like, Killer B, and, um, like, the, the thing about that, right, is... And, oh, by the way, here's a perfect example of other chakra absorption. I got supposed to be, like, top ten hacks in the verse. And even Kisame can use Same Hada to absorb Killer B's energy while getting speed blitzed and borderline one-shot. Like, B ripped out his stomach, and Kisame just drank his chakra and started laughing and regen, right? And if Pain and, you know, by extension, um, Sasuke's Rinnegan powers are supposed to be better than that, what's Aizen gonna do to, um, you know, Sasuke, who's, like, relative, if not, like, infinitely stronger, or inaccessibly, I'm sorry, inaccessibly stronger than him, trying to, like, steal his soul and, like, absorb it? And even if you argue he's not gonna absorb his entire soul, because, you know, he's a ghost, which should happen, he shouldn't absorb his entire soul, even if you argue that that does not happen, He's still absorbing, you know, some of, um, um, Aizen's, like, Ryatsu, right, his, like, energy, which is still a really big deal, because that makes Rinnegan users stronger, like, when Sasuke absorbed the energy from the Biju, he got stronger, when he absorbed, uh, Naruto's energy in their fight, uh, he got stronger, you know, every time Naruto characters absorb, um, they get massively stronger, so that just makes the gap widen even further between their two APs, and speed, by the way, Rinnegan users not only get stronger, but also faster when they absorb energy. So, what does Ichigo have for that? I mean, not Ichigo, I'm sorry, Aizen. What does he have for, like, soul absorption? Oh, okay, we can, we can go into mind hacks, that's fine, um, you're saying, like, his mind hacks would stop Sasuke from doing that? I mean, it's busted in Bleach, but I don't think it's anything to Naruto's abilities. So why do you think Kyokusui gets you super busted? Because the argument usually here is because it can, like, affect all five senses, right? And it just controls them and makes Aizen do whatever it wants, is that correct? Sure, that's fine. Um, so, I actually don't think the watch thing is a super good feat for Aizen. I think it's just bad for your watch. Let me explain why. So, um, I don't think seeing all futures is inherently mind hack resistance, right? Um, if the mind hacks truly affects all your senses, right? Your sight, your hearing, your smell. If you can see these timelines, it doesn't matter how many you're looking at your sense of sight is being controlled, so it doesn't matter how many you would normally see, it's just negged by the fact that you can't see them properly, <laughs> you know? Because they're in your head, affecting the way you see them. If you can hear infinite timelines, it doesn't matter, because you're affecting your sense of hearing, you know? 
So if you can hear a hundred timelines, that, that, that's irrelevant, because your hearing doesn't work properly. Same with smell, taste, etc. Um, so, yeah, you don't have to see a sword. Yeah, you can just look at Aizen. The issue with that is the way Sasuke's mind hacks works, especially if this is, like, uh, especially since, like, this is Rinnegan Sasuke, that's a really big deal, because even regular, uh, Sharingan users are supposed to be immune to visual mind hacks, right? Uh, or Genjutsu, right? Um, by the way, Genjutsu, it just translates to illusionary technique, so Genjutsu's mind hacks, I call all versus mind hacks as Genjutsu most of the time. So, um, yeah, so essentially, just a basic Sharingan gives you immunity to any sort of, um, visual mind hack. So, seeing his sword will put a normal person under Genjutsu, not a Sharingan user, um, for the most part. Because it gives you um, um, a resistance to that. Actually, that's the entire backstory on, like, Izanagi and Izanami. Izanami was created because you can't put other Sharingan users in normal Genjutsu. So they formulated this entire, like, fate manipulation mind hack combo <laughs> to body other Uchiha. Because mind hacks, like, normal ones didn't work. It's crazy, dude. So, like, normal Sharingan, like, resistant should be enough to resist Kyoka Suigetsu, and then Mangekyo Sharingan Genjutsu, and by extension Genjutsu Resistance, should be another layer above that, and then arguably like EMS should be above regular MS, and then Rinnegan Genjutsu are above base, I mean not base, sorry, the Rinnegan Genjutsu should be above Mangekyo Sharingan Genjutsu, and then you can even argue that because Sasuke's Rinnegan isn't normal, it's a special Rinnegan, that the mind hacks and mind hacks resistance are even like layered on top of that, so that's like a multi-layered mind hack resistance right there, it's not just like a normal resistance. Okay, I got you. Just link it and I'll watch it. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, good debate, bro. Um, it was fun. I like debating you here. You're actually good. You're not, like, you're actually good brain. You're not dumb brain mode. Like, I've debated a lot of people recently. Or not a lot of people, but, like, one person twice that aren't that smart to, like, you Are being, you, you know, Godspeed? respectful. Are you talking about, like, um, Godspeed? I'm talking about Zamari. He's really bad. I always like saying Godspeed because you have, like, tons of, um, video that on your channel. Yeah, no, nah, Godspeed's an ape, but, like, he's not that bad. Zamari's infinitely worse. Wait, how bad is Zamari? Oh my god, he's... Imagine Shinigami, but... Okay, when I said he's infinitely worse than Godspeed, that's giving Zamari too much credit. He's infinitely worse than Shinigami. Wow, you have to be there to Shinigami. <laughs> yeah, like, he's so bad. Like, the way he structures his arguments is, like... When you debunk one of his claims, it's almost like you have to start the entire debate over. Like, his entire argument falls apart when you debunk, like, one of his claims. It's really bad. His argumentation wow. is really bad. I might upload that video, but maybe not. I don't know. So, it's basically like... So, um, Zawari is basically like those debaters who have this whole, like, chain of, for their, um, things. The problem with chain, chain arguments is that if you break one piece, the whole thing falls apart. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, oh my gosh, Samari's so bad, and, and he's, I hate, I don't wanna, I don't even know if I should say, I mean, I did roast him in the actual, like, debate, but he's kinda dumb, so, like, he has a hard time understanding certain things that are actually common. And so, like, you'll explain something to him that's pretty basic. And he, like, won't understand. Like, like for instance, I had to explain to Patchy, like, 4D stuff. That's normal, right? That's... You have to explain 
the fourth dimension to most people. No one knows what that is. <laughs> you know, like, what person knows what the fourth dimension is, right? Like, that's literally I mean, no unless one. you like it, unless you just look up Rizzo <laughs> Valley. <laughs> yeah, like, unless you're actually into it, you're not... You don't just have that knowledge, right? That's not standard. But Zamari, it'll be literally standard. It's like, yeah, this character fought, you know, a stronger character than the character your character fought. So he scales above. And Zamari, and like, I would explain why, and then like, he would say, So, so you're saying, um, that this stronger feat makes him, uh, stronger than my character? Or uh, what? It's, it's really bad. Yeah. But yeah, Apache, you're, I, I enjoyed debating you. That was really nice. It was refreshing. I liked it. Wait, Cool Geek, would you like to, like, go over the fairy tales? Oh, say again? I didn't hear you. The fairy tale stuff. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, so what do you want to go over first? Uh, I don't know. Wait, what? Okay, later, Patch. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, you stay safe, too. Yep. Yeah, thanks for the sub, too. Thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, I guess I should, oh, like, okay. say my outro, and then we can talk about a uh, fairy tale. Um, oh, okay. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you stuck around, um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out the links in the description and the iCard. Sorry, my this is my next video and not my kid sauce game. Uh, not my kid sauce game. I'm sorry, my kid Lee video. That video was supposed to be before this one. Actually, this video wasn't supposed to exist. I actually just got this random um like debate like just randomly coming up out of nowhere. And I sent it and I figured, yeah, I'll call it and upload it. I need more content. <laughs> the Lee video is taking so long. So, yeah, my <laughs> next video should be my Lee video, hopefully. Um, but yeah, until then, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out the stuff in the iCard and in the description. Maybe hop in my Discord server, my Versus Debates one. Link will also be in the description. Also, my regular Discord server, if you want to chill out, maybe play some VR chat with me. Um, or Roblox or Minecraft, I don't know, I don't care. We can play something. We can talk normally. And yeah, that's all. The Cool Geek out. Bye.